Okay, so I might have a little surprise. Three, two, one. Ah, Ta-da! Yo, go cut her hair. I know, I know, I look so different. Yo, Bestie, how's everyone doing? Welcome and welcome back. So, if you aren't following me on Instagram, then you probably don't know. I cut my hair this weekend. It's gone. We went for the chomp. Okay, I appreciate it's really different. It's so, like, not a part of my usual style. And I thought I'd switch it up. I was really bored of having, like, the same hairdo all the time. Plus, my ends were so damaged. So, we really needed it. I'm kind of feeling it. I was like, let me just spice it up. Let me do something different. It's 2023. Why not? Not make a big change so i clearly went very short and we've also got some like face framing and like some bangs i think it's kind of cute it's slowly growing on me obviously when you do a big change it seems really different at first but then you slowly get used to it over the days so i'm hoping that will be the same for you guys you will slowly get used to it i showed you guys without showing my face and you guys were hyping me up so much so thank you so much guys like i love you guys it's honestly so scary when you like make a big change but it's so nice to have a, such a supportive community like i love it this is your sign to go Go bold and go cuckoo if you want to do something different okay just go for it do it come on but yeah it is Saturday today I've had a very like hectic last two weeks I want to say I remember telling you guys that I had like assignments back to back and everything and honestly I was just so focused on those that's why we missed an upload last week but thank you for bearing with me because obviously when I have like assignments and work and essays and presentations and stuff it's a little hard to manage my time but your girl's good got those sorted and then spent this week like trying to catch up on the lectures that I missed because I was focusing on the assignments so that's what we're also going to be doing today today is looking like a very long lecture kind of study at home day I've actually been in uni all day pretty much like in the library for the last week so that's why I thought let me just stay at home today and chill and I don't I don't want to go out today I, I don't want to do anything I just want to chill revise study on the couch that's the kind of vibe that I'm feeling I thought it'd be pretty boring to watch me study like all day long which is why I thought for today's video I'll show you guys my notion setup slash tour whatever you want to call it I've honestly had so many requests, you guys always ask me what I do, what I use, how I use it for my studies. If you don't know, I am a second year uni student, so obviously Notion comes in clutch for me at the moment in keeping my life together. And P.S. Yes, I did film this on Tuesday, so it was before the haircut, so mind the difference in appearance, please. <laughs> okay, so I think one of the most asked questions that I actually get is... Do you use Notion? How do you use Notion? Etc. So today I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a Notion tour. I know, long awaited, finally a gem. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure everyone uses Notion at this point because it's just so good, like so good to organize everything. Organize your life. Ta-da! So this is my Notion. I'm literally obsessed with my home screen. It's so pretty. I don't know if you remember what my Notion used to look like, but clearly it's got an upgrade. And no, it wasn't by me because I'm not that creatively talented, okay? That's literally one of the reasons why I love Notion because you can find online templates from other amazingly creative and talented people and then just use a template for yourself as well so I will try and have the info for this template down in the description hopefully I can get that for you I just love the nice and like relaxing feeling of like the whole green scheme I think it's so nice it gets me in the mood in the zen to like get some work done so as you can see on my home screen I have a little clock over here to remind me what time it is so that I know what I've got coming up next I couldn't not add a cute little quote at the top as well come on and then under the clock we've got a little section called quick tasks so it's basically a to-do list for the day or for the week if I have time I will jot down all the things that I need to do from my physical planner and to-do list and then that way when I go into my notion I know what's been done and what needs to be done so it keeps me nice and on track and clearly that's organized with little check boxes so see the first one says film notion sponsor so we can just check that off and then yeah like some notes and stuff then at the top here we've just got a little bit of like a contents table section so I don't have much it's just super simple and easy we just have my uni timetable at the top then there's year two for all of this year's content and work and then year one for last year's work the original template that I used had some more bits and bobs but I just kind of minimalized it a little bit more kept it nice and simple because I don't like when something's too overcrowded as well so we have a cute little photo over here now I don't know if you can see over here on the left under my to-do list they actually have 
my Spotify playlist embedded into my Notion. This is my study playlist. This is my lo-fi study playlist. If you don't listen to lo-fi whilst you're doing work, what are you doing? It just gets me going, like it gets me in some kind of way. I thought having that in here would just make it so much easier as well because we want to cut the time it takes for us to get started doing work, okay? I can just click on the little play button here instead of having to go onto my Spotify, find a playlist. I love that here. I love the fact that Notion has so many features, so that is a must. If you haven't done this already, just do it. And then lastly on the right, I just kept this little feature in that was on the template as well. It's just a currently section and at the bottom it says reading so i am currently reading a court of mist and fury i know classic i'm loving it so far so for my timetable section when you actually click on the little tab it takes you to my whole calendar and schedule so this is actually synced up with my google calendar and i love that because my google calendar is also my whole life my calendar itself has both my uni schedule on it and it also does have my like work slash youtube schedule on it as well so it's nice that i have everything together and i can just clearly see what i have for the days it's kind of sad because a for my year we don't actually get like personalized calendars we just get like a whole yearly one and then i have to like go down and find what my specific group has for that day so for example today tuesday the 31st i will go down and then find the groups b1 to b5 because i'm group b4 this year and it says pain perception physiology labs so i know that today i have labs at 1 day fabulous so on notion you have like the option to kind of do like a whole database so i think that is what this is and that's why you can also switch it to like a table view as well and that way it just has everything listed and you can go through and tick off if you've done that lecture or if you've done that lab session and it helps to just keep you nice and organized and on track now let's quickly jump to year two i can just click over here which is so nice so here is my year two little page once again i'm going along with the green i know now these at the top here are my topics for the year so we've got brain and behavior human development metabolism cardio cancer locomotor human sciences and then this last thing is just like essays presentations and any like assignments that i have and then just underneath that i've got my calendar once again just to just to be aware I used to just have it as pages but I just found out about like this whole gallery situation so if you do it as a gallery view you can actually add like cute little images and like keep it nice and organized so at the moment I'm doing brain and behavior that is the topic we've just started last week so if I click that I've got three pages in that section so we've got lectures PBLs and anatomy because those are my main three sessions so for example if I click on lectures set up all the lectures that we've so far done well kind of so all of these are week one from last week clearly i've got one left to do so this last one from friday my cerebellum class i need to do my notes for that of course and then these are all the lectures that i have for this week so you can see that these ones are empty because of the blank page and then these are the ones that are done with the little writing on the page i think that icon stuff is so cute plus you can customize icons if you didn't know my notes are actually very plain and simple i don't like too much the main thing that i would do is i add little images or whatever and a bullet point i love bullet pointing and i love that you can like shift the bullet points as well because i like bullet pointing in a bullet point as well who cares and besides that the main thing i do is i make questions i make a ton load of questions that is the only way i can really like revise i don't know how else to do work if you don't know about the toggle feature i literally am obsessed with this like if you click the toggle it has the drop down answer to the question that i put in so if i wanted to i can close up all my questions and then just go through and test myself and then check if i got it right by clicking the toggle and seeing my answer if you want to use this little drop down feature you can just click on the little dots and then go to turn into and click a toggle list or an easy shortcut is just click the arrow thing on your keyboard and it should just automatically give you like a toggle so but as you can see i'm actually obsessed with it and then i also like to highlight oh let me highlight these ones so you can just drag them all and then go on to text color yellow background or you can just do command shift h which is another shortcut the thing is if you actually have the time to go through and learn like so many commands and like 
keyboard shortcuts that you need. It just saves up so much time and it's just so much more efficient to use Notion. And as you can see over here, I also have like photos in here from my actual phone. I have the Notion app on my phone as well. If we're talking about something in class and we draw it up on the whiteboard, like you can see here, this is one of my PBL classes and we've done like direct and indirect pathways. I love the diagram, so I just took a photo of my phone and I just popped it in to my Notion page on my phone that way. It's literally just so nice and easy. And yeah, that is basically the main gist of how I do my notes um I know it looks a little boring and it looks very plain but that kind of is just what works for me I do have a different section for any YouTube stuff and any brainstorm kind of brain dump bits but the main thing that I use every single day without a doubt is my uni one so I thought I'd show you guys that and I hope you enjoyed that little run through and yeah I think that is it for my notion tour if I missed anything out or if you have any questions just drop it down below I will also try and find the template and pop that into the description as well so check that out I also want to say thank you so much to notion for actually sponsoring this portion of the video it is incredible I just can't believe that as a uni student I get to work with brands like notion because I don't know what I would do without notion like it keeps it keeps me together, it keeps me sane. I would be overwhelmed and I'd be all over the place. So thank you Notion for keeping us all on our A game. Like I said, if there is anything that I missed, please ask me down below. I will let you guys know and I will get back to you on it. That is it for today's video. I should now get back to my day of studying and revising and lectures and stuff. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon in a new video. Mwah. Bye bestie.